What is going on guys, this is Astrum Sensei and welcome to part 3 of my action RPG series in Unreal Engine 5. So in this part we are going to be setting up the sprinting system so that we can actually sprint because currently we can actually walk, I mean we can walk and if we press the caps lock we can toggle to running and also we can just um, press the shift key and that should switch between walking and running whatever you have on it will do so yeah we're gonna have to change that uh, i mean yeah we're gonna have to just set up the sprinting so that it's a little bit faster than the running and we also want to disable the shift key so first of all i think i made a problem in the previous video if we go to the animations folder to the blend space i did mess up by actually adding the right strafe and the left strafe in the in these parts because they are not really necessary and they are causing movement issues and now we can actually go back here and test it again and you can see that you know it's just finer like this it blends more smoothly than before which is fine you know these animations are pretty bad and you know you want to make your own animations or you want to buy them from the marketplace whatever it is but you know using xamo animations is great for learning however just um, you know using them in your final game and expecting it to look good is not really something realistic so anyway what we want to do now is we want to set up the sprinting system and the first thing you want to do for that is you want to um, go here and download a sprint animation from mixamo.com so for example this one sprint forward she is holding a gun but you know you can just find an appropriate one and when you download it you want to make sure that it's not in place so that you know she moves and snaps back since this is what root motion is and one final thing, if you wanted to work with the Unreal Engine mannequin, you want to download Mixamo Converter from Terribles Studio and then um, upload the mesh that they have provided to Mixamo, download the animation and then import it to the engine. Now I have already downloaded and converted my animation, so we're going to go to the folder that I have, which is over here. And I already have a sprinting animation, you know, I convert these while testing my own games. And then, you know, I replace them slowly if I buy animations or make ones. So this is the sprint animation that I have prepared. I'm just going to import it over here. And the skeleton, you can just choose the Unreal Engine for mannequin skeleton and import. And if you open it, you can see that it is a bad sprint animation, but whatever. We can just enable root motion. The reference pose is the pose that we want and uh yeah i think that's fine now now in the blend space if you go there i mean sorry this is the animation blueprint this is the blend space if you go to the blend space you can see that we have set up the idle to be at zero the walking to be at forward input one and then the running at forward input two now for the sprinting what we are going to do is we are going to make a third forward input so if you go to the forward input over here, you can change the maximum axis value to three. And you can see that they are no longer like the idle is now at 0 0.5. We're going to change the number of grid divisions to we're just going to increase it one by one and see which works for best. So if we change the number of grid divisions to five and take a look here, you can see that the idle is now at zero the walking is at two you want to change that to one so you can see that it's fine and then the running at three we want to change it to two and this is where the sprinting animation is going to fall however the, we have the diagonals we're going to just move them down also one more and sprinting is only going to be forward so we cannot sprint in all directions so you can just grab it and put it at the top at forward input three and it doesn't look good but hey it's acceptable so that's fine, you can just save and close this. Now, we have done that, but we haven't told the, the blueprint to do, like, to make the input actually three. So we're gonna go to the third person character and we're gonna do something very, very simple. And, you know, it's just like what we did in the previous video. So we're gonna just go to the project settings first and create an input for sprinting. So we have run and toggle walk. I'm going to change the input for run from left shift to left alt 
or you know just type alt that's a little bit better and add an in action mapping for sprinting so we can just type sprint and for this one we're going to be using left shift or you know just type shift that's better and we're going to close this and again this is going to be like super simple so first we're going to like get this branch and paste it here and we're going to check the condition if we are sprinting or not so we're going to do the same as this one so we input sprint and then we when we press it we are going to create a brand new variable called sprinting and then when we press it what we want to do is we want to set sprinting to true and when we release it we're going to set sprinting to false so that's just it for here we're just going to continue over here and finish it so let's do it for the forward first first thing we want to do is we want to check if we are sprinting so we get sprinting and then if that is true we are going to set the forward input and then we are going to multiply it by three so we're going to copy both of those and paste them over here and connect it to true now for this one we are going to multiply it by three and then we're just going to connect the value to the axis value and you can actually just do both of those so yeah it's like this so whatever we are doing if we are either running or walking we're going to set the axis value depending on if we are sprinting or not and if we are not sprinting i think we can just uh, not do anything so we don't have to actually connect the false to anything since we have already created those so let's test it and then do one for the side actually no there's no need to do it for the side since you cannot really sprint to the sides but if you press shift you can see that it actually works and also you know you cannot really sprint to the sides only forward which is exactly what we need and when you release it turns it back to the normal running and if you press caps lock and sprint and then release it just goes back to the walking which is perfect you can do like so that if you are walking and then you decide to sprint it will switch to running yeah actually let us do that so we are going to um, go to the third person character again and when we sprint we are going to set running to be true yeah this is fine the way it is and also we are just gonna over here i think we do not need to use these flip-flops um let me just uh, you know for example when we toggle walk we're gonna press and release and we're gonna set them to be whatever they are not so not boolean and then get the running this is a much much better setup we're, we can just connect it to both of those and also for this one so actually no i think i messed up yeah i think we still need the flip-flop for this one so we're just gonna paste it over here actually no we don't need we don't need it we can just delete both of them and we can just keep only one set set running to be whatever it is not when we press the toggle walk for this one we are going to do something a little bit different so we're going to have to just paste the not running and i don't think we need this but you can just connect it to both of these sets and we're going to connect one to the pressed and one to the released and that should actually just improve the, the code and how it looks and how it works so now it's a little bit more condensed and it's looking better and i think we can just give it a try again so we start running we press the caps lock you can see that you know toggling still works let's close the content browser yeah you can see that the toggling still works you can also sprint and it takes you back to running you can decide to walk with the alt key or release it then toggle again 
and yeah it's just perfect however what i think i'm going to do is i think i'm going to scale like i'm going to slow down the default running animation because currently it's a little bit too fast and sprinting is not much faster than it so for this one i'm going to go with the rate scale of 0 0.7 so that it's you know he moves a little bit slower when he is running yeah i think that's a bit too slow so maybe 0 0.8 So we press play. Yeah, you can see that it's much, much better now since, you know, sprinting is now much faster. Maybe we can make the sprinting um, even faster. So we can just go here, change the rate scale to be 1.2. And for the running, I'm going to make it a little bit faster. So maybe 0.9. You know, this running animation, I'm not really satisfied with it. So maybe I should just import a different one. I already have downloaded different ones. So maybe we can just give them a try. I'm just going to dock it in the layout and look for one that looks okay. You know, I have these ones that I used in a separate folder and these ones I use for prototyping. So maybe I can just find one run forward for UE4. Let's give it a try and see what it looks like. Yeah, it looks a little bit better. So let's enable root motion and then go to the blend space and replace it because currently it looks horrible. Yeah, we have changed it. Also the rate scale, I'm just going to put it back to normal. Now, if we press play, it's kind of a different animation. It's not really much better, but it's still like a little bit better. So yeah, you can just see that it looks okay, really. It's not that bad. And we have sprinting and everything is perfect. So if you guys have enjoyed the video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you are new to the channel, because that would really, really help me make more of these videos and continue the series. And if it was useful, please let me know in the comments and let me know what else you want to see in this project. And super special thanks to my precious patrons. I'll see you in the next video. Take care, have a great day and bye.